music specification in our classrooms uh, builds on really vibrant and exciting things that are happening in music classrooms throughout Ireland at the moment. The new specification allows for our teachers to engage in the learning, the really rich learning that's happening in classrooms in a much deeper level. We have three elements of creating and exploring, participating in music making and appraising and responding. And this is about the students engaging in the learning at a much deeper level of performing, composing and listening. The new music specification actually builds on what is really, really good practice that's already happening in music classrooms all throughout the country. It is a space where teachers can further think, further develop, further enhance their teaching and learning process. They're given the space to be truly pedagogical leaders of their own students. They're given the space to become their own curriculum developers. This has already been happening in our classrooms. The student voice is, is vital in the music classroom. Everything that we do in the classroom it should be based on what the students think, their opinions. So for instance with the exercise we did this morning with Charlie's Rhythms, that the teacher didn't give that to them. The teacher didn't say this is what this is called, this is what we're doing, allowing the students instead to to show their voice, to show their opinions. Music technology plays a really important role in our music classrooms and also in the music industry. For the first time in Irish music education, we have the music industry explicitly referenced in our learning. The music industry in the form of the recording studio, the processing effects, the panning, the reverb, the chorus. For, for me, in the music classroom, technology is just uh, one of the most important learning tools I think that we, that we have and that we can use in our classroom for music specifically. You know? It's not just use of technology for technology's sake. <laughs> The response has been hugely positive. Music teachers are totally proactive. They want this, they wanted the change to happen. They wanted a better learning experience for their young people in the classroom. The new music specification I love because it allows me to get the best out of each individual child. Like every child is different and I, with this I can now find what they in, inspires them and try and make the specification work for them. Students are learning to learn, they're enjoying their learning, they're taking ownership for their learning and we're, crea we're creating creative students um, and that they're collaborating more and that will lead them to be better at composing some leaving certain more creative now as well, that it's not always coming from the teacher. I suppose the, the key thing for me is that the outcome is uh, practical and contextual for the students. Um, we are no longer separating theory and practice in the class, that it's all combined into one and I think that is really important for the students. We teach them to be musicians and not students. They are emerging musicians and working musicians and I love that. Well, it means much greater accessibility for the students. Um, it means that you're not necessarily under this pressure to cover uh, a whole list of songs and facts about these songs. And now you really can find out what uh, includes your own students and find out what their capabilities are. We're still teaching the same things, really, but we're doing it in a different way. We're still passionate about what we teach. But it's nice to, I suppose, to have the freedom of these learning outcomes. And, and it is about freedom to experiment and to explore. So it's all about music making and it's about, it's, you know, whether it's performance, composing, whatever. They're moving around, they're performing music. They're actually getting into the actual music, which is what, which is what we want as music educators now. JCT have a full support in place for our music colleagues in supporting them implementing our new music specification in the form of face-to-face -face meetings, in the form of online supports, in the form of uh, elective subjects or elective workshops taking place, in the form of everything, every engagement will always involve an aspect of feedback from the teacher. So it's, we have structures in place to respond to the emerging needs of our music teachers. 
I think it's really interesting the way that the, the whole programme has been carefully thought through. But I've been very, very impressed by the attention that's been focused onto learning in the way that the whole thing has been put together. Can I also say a lot of attention being placed to learning musically rather than learning about music. And I think those are very significant things and I, I find that very impressive. Well, the Ungerland JCT Anahamulane Marvi Temple Tree Kid Montore a tap the kale obviously got the egg din of kale the kale. We should din of kale the na khurp and na go and the raven go the irlish so August we got the egg when ten of us. We on cracks the shomra. No we din the cast temple and say bula boss and say kana August we just be the on crack August fall them out. absolutely fascinated to see this number of music teachers in one room at one time all thinking about curriculum and all thinking purposefully, intently and enthusiastically about changes and I think this is a very significant event and it's really good to see this amount of energy and dynamism in a room and it's all happening and they're all thinking about musical learning which is great. Always with change there will be challenges. But music teachers in this country are vibrant, they are open, and they are used to challenge. They deal with a subject that is fluid, it is organic. Even as we are speaking here, music is changing all the time. So teachers, music teachers, are constantly getting involved, looking at what is relevant in their classrooms, what's relevant in music today, connecting it to the cultural context, and bringing that learning into the classroom. I think the classroom experience ultimately will facilitate learning in a way that will reflect students' own choices, it will and should create a sense of inquiry and curiosity about learning and I suppose ultimately tap into the students' own creative spirits.